right guys, you're all right, sorry about that. Um, me going a little bit flat on the palate. <laughs> anyway, back now. So what was I doing? Yeah, the jellyfish legs. So like I say, um, missed a bit of water. I did just add it in there um, before I realized it was going off. So, and I've also missed some here as well. So I'll just add that in there. Just blend it, not exactly the right colour for that side, but put it in. So, this little bit I'll go with it. So, I'll do a couple more legs. So, again, just using a lighter shade of purple. Um, <clears throat> let's see one. So, we've got this one over here. So, just make sure I'm in frame again. Sorry. So, yeah, all I do is I'm just going over all the little lines. Right, so it turns out thicker, just thicken it up a little bit. Make sure it matches up to the body. And again, we've got this leg here that goes round, and this one's coming round here. There we go. And then we've got that one, I wasn't sure about before but I think it goes like that and then we've got a couple of the frilly ones but what I do is sorry don't know if I was talking loud enough then there's a couple of the like the ones like the frillier legs where they've got all the thing but I just try and make the lines a little bit thicker and then there isn't a leg there so you can add one in if if you like, obviously it's your you know your page, so you can add one in if you like. That's what I've been doing anyway. And then what I do is in between <coughs> the legs, I just went over. I just added the water in in between there. Because earlier it looked like it was the legs, he wasn't too sure. So you can just do that. Or if the spaces aren't like here, just fill it out a little bit. Yeah, and it's as simple as that. So again, I'll just do another one. I'll do this one. This one's got these funnier legs, the, the fatter ones. Um, there's one here. Now this is what I mean about these old hoo hoo um, markers. They are really, really good, but for going over the wax, because the the nib is um, like a plastic, it does pick up the um, wax. So I just wipe it off on a piece of paper then come back. I think I'm doing that leg up wrong then. So like you see this one here I think goes behind that leg there. This one comes down. They are quite difficult these you know like to follow the legs but if you just you know just do them as you wish and like you say it's going to be a lot easier or what you can do is even when you do go in all of these areas just go over the jellyfish all together then it's going to be a lot lot easier don't think i've used the right shade of blue there i've not but it all adds to the effect so you can go over do your whole thing if you like if you're following it like myself you can go over the whole page in your pencils and then just go over your jellyfish with um, your markers and have the legs in 
as you like. You can still see them through the page. I'm just going to use this same pencil just to go over the ones I've just done because I want to show you what the next process was when I've done this. Madeline, which one is it? We needed the green one for that, so just bear with me one second. And we can just go over this little dude here. So, just doing working on these one, two, three, four, five. Yep, six. Sorry, can't count, can't count. So again, just using the lightest one, you can still see roughly where the legs are. You can make them a little bit fatter in places if you like. You can make them as wobbly as you like. Or if you still want to add them, you know, the little... Whatever the I don't even know what they're called. What are they called? Where the they look like? Where they're wearing like flary pants. That isn't even the pattern there. I'm just making it up as I'm going along. I'm just you know making it come down. And then bring that leg over here, and again just add some waves on each side of the leg as you like and then we've got we'll have another leg coming down here and going round that one and again you can see in this one I hope I'm in focus and you can see so this one it like there's like twists and turns in them and things like that and they look fantastic um you know like if you if you culling them in and really really taking your time but if you just want to create a quick you know brilliant curvy page you can just use your own home markers and it's still going to look as good it's no who's, who's going to point out and say oh you've not done that right that leg shouldn't look like that it never does it on a, on a jellyfish you know what i mean it's just what you like and what takes your fancy so let's do this one this is only a smaller one. I am trying to follow, obviously, you know, Kirby's Kirby's lines there. Right now, this one, he goes up and down this one, so one leg. Uh, Now this one, I'm finishing a bit further away from the body because they come down in like these and I'll show you what I did there. On top, underneath the sparkle that I've used, <coughs> I did get a darker Ohu purple and I just, obviously I can't remember exactly what that jellyfish was like. I just know there's going to be a bit of shading underneath here where, you know, like they go up like that kind of thing. And then I just did a few at the top. So I just made it look like there's a bit of shading underneath coming down to the legs. And then just did a few marks, bringing them further out making them look different just put in different lines on them and then this one i know it comes down like that shape so that's basically all i did then if you wanted to do them that way you could do entirely up to yourself how you do them so that's all i did with my jellyfish and um, you can also as well if you like using the darker color go over and add a bit of shading to a you know a few of the legs or 
make you know the outside of one of it a little bit darker than the other just to add a little bit of you know try and I don't even know where that leg's just gone that one to that one there we go you know just trying to make it look a little bit different now what I did then is <clears throat> let's put these to one side so I did all the best the water first I then did the jellyfish and the little yellow dudes and then what I did last night is obviously you can see I'll just bring it up you see the sparkle now it is actually I hope I can get this on how can I maybe ever do it that way can you see it's actually raised off the page if I show you the page that way can you see down it's it's raised up off the page and I used um Nuvo glitter drops this is by Tonic Studios you can get this on their website um, and on Amazon I think I used to do cards so I collected these a lot now this is the glitter one like I said and this is the glitter drops summer sunrise and the brilliant and all I've doing done is it comes in a little nib like that and what it's for is well usually what people use it for I'll show you on here like say <coughs> like there's a the flower there are them beads there you can use a gold one and you can just do little tiny dots like that usually on, on flowers on cards used to do just drop it down and pick it up and it does little like domes like little perfect dots I don't know if you can see there I hope you can and they're leveled off the page and they will dry like that and they look brilliant what you can also do with this is what I used to do a lot is um you can you know the plastic mats that you can get put down what you can use um to oh what are they called it's like a plastic mat you can put or you can even do it on like glass table or baking sheet or something like that you know the brown paper i just used to do dots all over all different sizes and just let them dry and then you can just push them off and then you've got like glitter dots and then you can just glue them to your page if you wanted to do it that way but with these what all i've done is is when i've done my dark purple on it i'll just do two here because obviously i've got to try and complete the page and i wouldn't do this until you've completed everything because you need to let it dry for 24 hours so <clears throat> i finished doing the rest of the um jellyfish all of them and then i would add this on but i'll just show you now so then what i can do is i can let you guys go well no i'll show you what i did with the white and then i can let you guys go i'll get on with the page while it's uploading and then i can add a photo of the completed page so all i've done is let me see if i can review it touch touch further there we go right let me see we'll do this one here yeah so just squeeze it and then you'll see the liquid starts coming to the end and as soon as you see it like that all i do is i just go around the outside letting it you know pile up a little bit let it get a bit of that height on it and then just bring it round and then just fill in that gap that's it now you can see the to me but you can see the little marks but it will dry raised up off the page yeah but it will dry like a dome and then it dries with that beautiful glitter on it and you can still see underneath the slight colour the pinky colour with the darker marks where I put for the veins so again I'll just show you on this one over here where are we? there looks to be it's about to see I'll try and do it on a side angle is that right? so you bring it out and just put pressure on the bottle and just follow the shape round you can do this with anything you can do it on your flowers petal leaf anything 
and like I say, I did this on the eye of the dragon um, in my first page and it, you know, it looked, it looked brilliant, the gloss over it. I didn't use the glitz one, you can get other ones. So that's all I did and then, like I say, leave that 24 hours. It could dry in six hours, it depends how thick you put it on, but it leaves that awesome dewy look on top of the jellyfish. Now, because I've done that, let me just turn this round so I don't smudge into there now. So, because I've done that on these, and obviously I've got the watermarks to put in, so for that I'm just going to use, let's see if I can find one on the table, yep. I'm just going to use the white acrylic marker, the pens I get, the um, acrylic paint markers. These are off Amazon, I think it's £10 for 10 or something like that. They are brilliant, they last so well. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's um plastic tip. You also get tips for these as well. I think you get extra tips for these or extra tips through the Ohuhu markers, but they do fit in this as well. So as you can see around the end of the tip, where am I? There I am. As you can see around the end of the tip, it does get a bit clumpy. Now what I would usually do is get a piece of paper and I just scribble it off on the sides. Obviously I used this on top of the blue blue picture last time. Oh yeah, it would have been this one I'm on now. I'm a gonk sometimes. And when then people say think before you speak. I think I should do that sometimes. So, oh knickers. You know what I've just said, don't, I'll move that. I just put that into my thing and it squidged it out a little bit. Just bear with me one second. As you can see here, it's just squidged it out a little bit. That one's not too bad, but it caught that one. It's taken a bit of the height off it, but it just goes to show how much I put on because you can see all that on there. There's more on that page now than there is on the other one. So when you're doing something like that, Vanessa, move it out the way. So I just usually get the colour off and then they come out, you know, they're really, really good. They, they're so much cheaper than Poscas, you know what I mean? So all I'll do is oh, just work this little section here and you can see through the, the pencil what I've done. So I'll just work this little section from here. And I've just gone over the white dots. It's covering them all in. Like so. All over the page. And then what I also did is, you know, like the the black the C marks, the wave marks. I've just gone over them as well. Just to add something a little bit different to the page. You don't have to. No one's saying you have to, I'm just saying I did. And I like the way it come out. And then, like I say, you can just follow the marks back round and just go all over. Where you where you you want to, it's just basically the breaks in the water, isn't it? You know, it's just showing that the water is flowing, and you don't have to fill them all. You can do as many or as little as you like. Now, so that's all I did, and that's all I'll do on the rest of the page, like that. Now. The other thing I was thinking, I don't want to add, add anything to the little yellow men. I think they're fine. I'm just a bit mm, about the jellyfish legs. They're not standing out. Obviously, the heads are, I think, are, are pretty cool, and the legs are just like mm, like this one here, the big, the big daddy one. Obviously, I've done you know the shading on where it come down, but I just want to concentrate on the thin legs, not the big ones wearing the fancy pants as I've kept on saying. So I thought, well, I don't want to do it in the same glitter. 
because you know it looked different and then I was looking through my drawer of and now I'm going to pull you out while I bring this drawer in this is my drawer of let me move my book so it doesn't get squished this is my Nouveau glitter drawer I've got lots and lots of them are like all different colours <coughs> got the light blues these oh I love these ones dream drops and um, this one is um, dragon scales let me just see see I've gone on to something else now I wasn't planning on doing this but just look at these colours for for dots oh for oh that's sometimes why you should always just prime it first just get your you don't you can do it as big as you like and then you get lovely gems on your page now on because it's on a colouring book this that I'm using these I wouldn't do this on a double side you know on a page where you've got something on the back because you're not going to be able to colour on the page you've got but I, I've only do some things like this on single sided pages because you're not going to be colouring in on the back of it obviously you've got a couple of pages but single sided pages it's you know you especially if you've got it spiral bound it won't won't matter at all so you've got this colour this is um like I say um dragon scales which I think is just stunning and you've got this one as well this one is called dream drops indigo eclipse now I was thinking about maybe using this one. Oh, see, get your bit of a splurge. So do you just look at that colour? Just turn it round and do that, and it will. And you can see there because I swirled it, you get a bit of a swirl as well in it, and that will form as when it's on a page. You, obviously, well, you could use that for dew drops on flowers and things like that, you know because of the colour but look at the colour in that it is stunning so I was wondering whether I should put some of that on the legs of the octopus but the jellyfish or what other colours have I got let's have a look here see this this one's a nice one as well this one would be nice for um <clears throat> you know like like your Johanna Basford page if you were doing Johanna Basford page and you had the you know the dew drops of the flowers um you could use this one because this is more of a white one this is called cloud nine yeah dream drops cloud nine and again, it's vertically yeah and then again so can you imagine if you had like a like a baby what are they called the it's like that's what you can put down it's like a messy mat but you can wipe clean. Have I just done all that off the screen? Am I right, donk? You know what, today, so ignore that, I don't know what that writing is. Um, so these are the ones I've just done, sorry. I've just um, put them on here. Let me see if I can bring you in. Here's me talking about how fantastic they are. So these are like the drops. So if you did them on a... Um, I can't think of what it's called. It's a mat anyway. I used to do it for when I was doing, you know, you're using different gels or I was if I'm using say a paste with um like you can get paste with like sand in it and stuff like that. But if I wanted it blue, you can mix it with acrylic paint or watercolour paint or even these and mix it in and use it on the cards and stuff. So these are them, but just look at the colours you're getting that. Just look at the, they're superb. And they're so easy to use. I'll just do it again on another piece of paper. On another scrap piece of paper. I don't to use a water bill. <laughs> I've got the new water bills. There we go. We can never find something when you're looking for it. So, <clears throat> sorry for people who aren't really interested in this, but there might be a few of you guys out there who actually do, you know, like these things. So again, these these are by Tonic Studios, 
and this is the Nouveau Dream Drops and this colour is Indigo Eclipse. And all you do is, obviously like I said before, you just get the pressure, bring it to the end of your nib. You can see it coming up the nib. You can see it coming up the end of the nib, just get a drop. And then as you place it on, just place, just put pressure, and it makes a dot, and then just bring it up and you get like a bead shape. It'd look brilliant like if you were doing a necklace or you know, like a pearl necklace or something like that and one of your pages you could you know add these onto it and like I say if you've got some baking paper or something like that you could do a mold you know so many of all these do them into drops and then put them into a plastic container and then whenever you're doing a page you can just come along and pick out which ones you wanted where's the other one I wanted this is the one as well so that one I've just done there so it was the one I've just been doing the jellyfish in this one is the cloud nine this is the one I meant like if you're doing a, a Joanna Basford page and you know even for like center of flowers you know like when you're doing a thing you can do big ones medium ones and you can do the tiniest ones as well big little and large and they look I used to do them and it's like I say onto the cards that's why I've got all these and then <coughs> we've got the you know what's this one? Oh, this is the dragon scales the one I did a minute ago but I think I did it off camera look at that for a colour that is beautiful isn't it so yeah anyway see what I mean I've gone off the the scale now haven't I now I was thinking I could use one of them. Oh, I have got this one. These are the crystal drops. And it says on here, it adds dim but dimensional details to craft projects. So I should have read that first to explain it, shouldn't I? Now this is like, I think, of a metallic one. So this colour, you can just see it there. No, not coming up. I think I might need to put half of these. I've never even used them, so they've probably not even been. Let me see if I can unclog that. What can I unclog it? I don't think I've got any pins as such. Sorry for banging the camera there. I do apologise. Let me just have a quick look in my. If you want to have a drawer in your craft room, what, just full of stuff where you don't need to go, look at that for me. A drawer, you don't need things. I've even got my daughter's baby band in there. My daughter's baby band and she's 23. <laughs> but that was one of the twins. I mean, I'm just seeing if I've got any um, pins in here. Oh, I've got an earring. Let's just see if this will clip. Brilliant advert for that, isn't it? So, oh yeah, get these. This is very, I think this is the first time I've had one. Clip. Again, see? I'm hopeless. I've put some on there. It's just fixed onto my top anyway. Yeah, so I've just put the back of an earring. Come on, Vanessa. I'll come straight just down there. And hopefully that will unclog it. So I was thinking about maybe using that colour. It's not coming out as good as it should. Right, but come on. Yeah, there. I think I might use that colour for on the legs. And this is Nouveau Crystal Drop. And um, what does it say? It's, um, it's a metallic pink orchid. So I think I might use that one for adding detail to the legs. Or again, I could use a jewel drop. Um, and this one is the one that dries translucent. So you'd still, still see the purple underneath it. 
and that's going to be a lot lighter now this pink one the metallic one i think i will go for that it does need plugging right down to the um bottom of it for it to come out properly let me just see if i can yeah it's only going down so far back and um, I'll find a pin in a minute and I'll unplug that so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that page now get rid of them ones what I used that on I can go in the bin in a second so these are the ones that I did a minute ago they'll just like I say leave them 24 hours to dry and then if you put them on like baking paper like it says they will just pop off put them in a little box and keep them for your pages to add you know black and stars in the background or whatever you can get so many there's literally hundreds of different colors in the in them all they, they're brilliant and um, so yeah that's what i think i'm going to do so i'm looking for the colors already see if there's anything else they do do these as well very very quickly these are the stone drops. Now these are I'll just get the blob off the end. Again, these are exactly the same, but these have sand in them. So when these dry, they do look like they've got like grits of sand in. So again, they will dry exactly the same as these, and you can just pop them off and use them on your pages. And I've got them in silver and I've got the dark blue and the purple. So, but no, I think I'm going to go definitely 100% going to go for the metallic pink for the jellyfish's legs. So that's about it, guys. Um, I went off a bit track then, didn't I, with that one. So yeah, um, that's how I've completed my page so far. My whirlpool page. Let's get you back. There we go, that's how I've completed my page. So the outer legs, you know, the just the thin legs, not the fluffy ones, I'm going to do in the metallic. Um, and then go work all the way around. I'll have an extra shading in the lab. So what I'm going to do is, I'll love, love you and leave you guys here. Hopefully you have liked this video. Hopefully I've not waffled on with myself too much as per usual. Um, but quite a longer video um but obviously you know it is quite an in-depth page and then i've never done with myself so that's how i've done this page all the little bits to it what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and work on this i think you might be able to hear my washing machine in the background so i do apologize so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish this page off now and then i'll get a photograph of it taken upload this video and at the very end of the video you'll see my completed page Please give me a thumbs up for the video if you like the content, if you like the videos of how I plan to do my colour, you know, colour and chat videos. Um, just so I know, you know, if you guys are liking it. I've had a lot of positive comments back so far. And I'm hoping you're all enjoying the this month's Kirby Kirby Challenge again, which is Kirby First Love Challenge 2023. Um, on, a, on Instagram, it's hashtag Kirby first loves 2023 just make sure because there's one what says love and one what says loves it's the one with the most pictures in add it to that one and again if you want to join us on facebook it's fantasy worlds of kirby rodan's coloring books again i'll put details of both of them up at the end of the video so you can come along and join in fingers crossed i'll get another video out to you within the next couple of days um of me doing the dragon eye and showing you how I plan on doing that and then we'll have our month end video completed pages so I love you all loads thank you very much for watching my video I really do appreciate every one of you guys taking the time out to watch it if you haven't subscribed already please do like I say give me that thumbs up if you do subscribe it's all free of charge you don't have to pay anything you get to hear my happy my tuning voice <laughs> whenever you want and obviously we all get to share the love of Kirby. I get to show you how I how much I enjoy his books and I hope that comes across on camera, whether I'm using just pencils or pencils and other mixed media at the same time. 
So, I love you all, and I shall speak to you very shortly, and I will complete this page now, and it will be up at the end of the video. So, until my next video, guys, I shall speak to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.